Hi guys, uh, I would like to present you our dystopia, uh, dystopia module, which is a part of the chromatic modules. Um, dystopia is mainly uh, is a noise generator, uh, a bit crusher and a filter. So if you combine all that uh, in a module, you'll get uh, a lot of uh, functionality uh, for the size. So, what you can use Dystopia for? You can use it for uh, as an audio source, like a noise generator. You can use it as a CV source, like a random generator. You can use it to process CV signals. And you can use it to process external audio signals. Let's start the first part with the audio source. So, what we have here is a noise going to a couple of filters to make the pink and blue noise. This is pink noise, this is blue noise. Pink noise is a low pass noise, blue noise is a high pass noise. And so we have a variable filter here, so you can make it deeper or more slow. Same goes for the pink noise. And you, of course, have CV control over that. Same goes from high pass. And you have these LEDs that are showing you what is going on with the um, amount of uh, pinkness or blueness, blue, blueness or whatever it's called. As you can see, they flash according to what's happening on the CV. So, if it was pink and blue noise, let's now try the beat crust noise. Which, in general, it's just a sample and hold, like a random source generator with a very, very high bit rate, around 10 kilohertz. There you go. So you can also get the pure white noise if you close down all the pink noise, it's just white noise. And then you have the gated noise, or if you if you get it as a as a sound source, is a digital noise. I would I would just say. The odds just change the false width because if the digital noise is only have zero or one value. By the way, the the, the module is completely analog. Even though I call this a digital noise, it's not a digital production. And now on this part of the noise, the bit rate works. And you get this kind of effect. Which reminds me like of a explosion sword on, uh, on a Game Boy. Or something like that. And then you have one more output, which is the scatter noise. It's a little bit tricky to explain, but what you need to know is that it's like a slicer. And it depends on the bit rate and on the odds. It's like a random slicer. There you go. And that was the first part of the video, the noise generator. 
So for the second part of the video, I will demonstrate how to use this as a CV source. So I will just make a very, very simple uh, sound uh, generator, like from oscillator to the filter and uh, directly to the output. There you go. So you probably can use that in the most basic way, it would, would be sample and hold. And at the same time, I could use the random gate output to trigger an envelope. will tell you how likely is that on each um, step for the envelope to trigger or to stay on if you like You can also use the direct noise as a CV source. If I would be to do that, if I would do that, I would send that probably here. And goes for the blue noise. Or even scatter as a CV source. Which is synchronized with the gates. There you go. Lasers. And that was mostly what you can do as a as a CV source generator. Now the next uh, part we will check out how to process uh, CV signals. So for the CV process um, I will demonstrate that maybe almost the same way as I did with the previous part. I will just send an oscillator to the filter and then that directly to the output. And I will send an LFO to the external input of the, of the Stopia. The most common part one can think of to make with it is a staircase. So I'll just get the output from the, the crust type. As you change the bits, you change the number of steps. And if you go too high, of course, you won't be able to hear the steps. There you go. Now that I have the external input, I have sent an LFO. What happens with this, the odds and the gate output is that whenever 
the CV source is abo above ground, we get a gate. Whenever it's below ground, we, we, we have a gate off. And you can change that, that point with the odds. Let me demonstrate. So, gate to trigger, envelope to the output. There you go. Above ground, trigger. Above ground, trigger and go so on. But if I were to change the the bit rate and the LFO rate. That would start producing random patterns. No, not that random because at the point the rate with the bit rate gets synchronized and you have a kind of a, a very specific pattern. the third part and we're gonna check on the next and final part maybe the most interesting function of this module which is the audio processing okay for this last part of uh, dystopia I will again set up a very almost very basic synthesizer or synth voice whatever you like so oscillator to filter VCA etc uh, filter VCA to delay and delay output to the external input of dystopia. Let's just get a straight sound. I will also need an LFO to give some modulation to the sound. CF inputs. Very nice. So I'm getting my out now out of the pink noise, which is now a low pass filter. Worth mentioning that I can use that as a low pass gate. There you go. Then the same goes for the blue output, which is a high pass filter. Uh, 
And now the interesting part starts if I go out to the crush. We have a pit crusher. sound and if I get out of the random gate this effect is similar to the parcelizer with a twist that you have a, a bit rate Hearing is actually how your sound would, uh, what your mix would sound like if it was a digital output, like a zero one output. And our final output is the scatter, also very interesting. like a slicer. If I leave it somewhere, you'll notice it makes like a pattern. And you can change the pattern either by changing the odd or the bitrate. Now, what is very interesting to also do here is to mix these outputs. I'll use my trusted uh, Utopia to do that. I'll cancel the LFO going in. And I will send, let's say, the pink output in one mix. and the gate output to another mix. And it comes out forever. So thank you very much for watching. This was Dystopia. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>